And I hope you're having a nice day so far. Welcome to KOBI5.com. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Ann McFloy. Here now, a look at some of our top stories for your Tuesday. Democratic candidate for Oregon Governor John Kitzhaber will be right here in Medford later on today. The Democrat is expected to arrive in Southern Oregon sometime this afternoon. His supporters will be running a phone bank at the Medford Education Center from 10 to 5. And then Kitzhaber will be holding a forum right here in our KOBI studios. It all starts at 7.30 p.m. It's going to be live. Now go to our website for more information, KOBI5.com. You still have time to submit your questions as well. And a reminder, ballots for the November 2nd general election are arriving now in mail mailboxes throughout the Beaver State. If you have not received your ballot yet, you should be receiving it in the next few days. Jackson County voters can begin dropping off their ballots next Monday, the 25th. And new this morning, Bank of America says it will now resume foreclosures in 23 states. We're still not sure yet if Oregon is affected but the bank says it is confident now that all the paperwork has been done properly. B of A put a hold on foreclosures just last week. And To Hillsboro, Oregon we go. All new into the NBC5 newsroom this morning. Order in the court. Check out this video. A man on trial for rape suddenly lost it last Tuesday while the victim was testifying. He began yelling and flipped over the table he was sitting at. You can see it there. The whole thing caught on surveillance video. And you can see the man pushing away the officers trying to subdue him. It took three of them to finally get him under control. The man was convicted Friday on sex abuse and witness tampering charges. He has not yet been sentenced. Workers are under the gun to wrap up two and a half million dollars worth of road construction projects in Klamath Falls. Yeah, that's right. Lyle Ahrens from our KOTI Television Bureau has the story. Work is now underway on the 6th Street overpass, which links downtown Klamath Falls with the south suburban area. So we're going to grind off four inches of the old asphalt that's delaminating a little bit and replace that. The paving should be complete by Friday. Construction will continue on the overpass next week as workers replace aging expansion joints on the bridge. One of the city's most expensive projects is taking place here on California Avenue, where the replacement of an existing water main and repaving of the roadway will cost about $1.7 million. Once the paving is completed later this week, workers will begin landscaping and curb work. A third project is also underway downtown on Klamath Avenue. The majority of a grind and overlay project on Klamath Avenue has already been completed, though it's taken a little bit longer than the contractor had hoped. Klamath Avenue is just a lot of little tedious stuff with the intersections and stuff, so it just took a little bit longer than, than we expected. A late start on the construction season has workers hoping to complete the jobs before it snows. This year we had a late beginning, though temperatures didn't come up till later than normal, so everything got compressed. While workers are on a fast track, safety is still the biggest priority. Just drive slow and be careful, and uh, we're going to try and get it done as soon as we can. In Klamath Falls, this is Lyle Ahrens, NBC2 News. Lyle, thank you. In addition to providing a smoother ride, the road work is also providing much-needed jobs. Rocky Mountain Construction has between 15 and 20 workers involved with the projects in Klamath Falls. Finally, if you like reading the local newspaper online today, you'll have to start paying for it. The Medford Mail Tribune is moving to an online subscription website today. Readers who want full access to the site will have to pay a monthly fee. If you don't want to pay, you can register to view as many sto as 10 stories a month for free, and you can view three stories without registering at all. The Tribune, like many other newspapers, are resorting to online subscriptions as a way to survive. Newspaper subscriptions have declined in recent years because of the Internet. A sign of the times. Yeah, it really is. Trying to find ways to make money. All right. So, and that's a quick look at your top stories for this Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us online. And we will be back tomorrow morning starting at 5.30 a.m. for the very latest news, weather, and traffic only on KOBI-TV. I'm Austin Reed. I'm Ann McCloy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.